13 by Greg Biffle. Last year, both races at Michigan won by Hendrick teams. Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon split the 2014 season at MIS. Steve Post is with one of the Hendrick crew chiefs today, Keith Rodden, who works with Casey Kane. So, Steve, what do you think? Is the tide about to change there at Michigan? Yeah, that is the question, Joe. Has the tide turned at Michigan? Keith Rodden is alongside. We're at Hendrick Motorsports at Concord. And, Keith, Hendrick swept Michigan last year after, you know, it's kind of been a Roush Fenway track. Do you feel like you weren't here last year, but you certainly watched it from a pit box. Do you feel like the, the Hendrick tide has turned up at Michigan? Yeah, I really hope so. I feel like the Hendrick cars ran really well there last year, and all the Hendrick-powered engines ran great. So, obviously, the engine rules are a little different this year, but I think that we have a pretty good basic package, so we'll be able to unload close and go from there. You mentioned the basic package. You're building a car for Michigan. What all goes into that basic package? Is What are the challenges you have this week? Well, just last year... We had the low ride height, the kind of no ride height rules from NASCAR introduced. So I feel like that that sort of setup stuff is a good baseline. So we don't have to go try to figure out all that really fast or in practice. And then just go from there, fine tuning it with the reduced horsepower and the aero changes. And it's going to be an interesting race. I feel like the, a lot of strategy stuff will come into play like it always does. And it'll probably be a lot more like Pocono. You mentioned Pocono. We go to these tracks in the northern part of the country, drastic weather up there during the, uh, during the winter time. Is there a way to project what it might be like when you arrive there? Well, you really don't know until you get there. And the thing with Michigan, since the repave, you can tell how harsh the winter was because every time you come in on Thursday night or Friday morning, the uh, track's a little grayer. So we just look at it and like right after the repave, it's really black and there's no bumps. And every time since then, it's gotten a little grayer and it just starts getting that character back that it used to have. And I really feel like they did a great job paving that track and it's coming to us and it's going to open up for more grooves and more side-by-side -side races. When we look at the 20, 2015 rules package, the less downforce, less horsepower, do you feel like you're getting your hands? Do you have your hands around it? Are you fairly comfortable with what we have this year? Well, I don't know. I, I feel like, as you saw at Pocono, two cars seem to have their hands around it really well, the 78 and the 4. I feel like if uh, we were in the right situation, we should have easily ran third in that race. We don't go to run third, so we're still working really hard. We're trying to pinpoint the areas that we feel like we're getting beat in, and I feel like those two teams have maximized the rules package for their drivers, and we're still trying to get it for Casey. We're in this mid part of the season where all the speculation is, what does 2016 look like? Are you a fan of let's maintain status quo and keep working with this, or are you more like let's get to where we're going with this less downforce, less horsepower, if that's indeed the direction it goes? Wh which camp are you in as far as looking forward and why? Well, I'm in a totally different camp. I'm in the just let us know what the rules are camp, and uh, NASCAR did a great job. They let us know what the rules would be for this season really early on last year, and I, I feel like that there's a lot of discussion you're hearing and uh, I try to stay out of all of it as much as I can and just as long as we know what the rules are and then we know which areas we need to go work on, that's the most important part for me. So uh, I really don't have a dog in the fight for the rest of it. I'll let the driver's council and, and the NASCAR officials and everyone try to talk, talk it through and see what they figure out. We appreciate it. Have a good run at Michigan. Thank you very much. There we go. That's Keith Rodden. They're going to have the great clips colors on the car at Michigan this weekend, and we'll see if that Hendrick tie has turned. Maybe they can get to victory lane at Michigan this weekend. All right. Thanks, Postman.